Hey guys, Virgil Engine 95, putting a live from your local county prison cell, and today I'm just doing, you know, a standard ones a week, I guess. Um, so this fight is Kana from Fairy Tale versus Vanessa from Black Clover. Um, I've been meaning to do a Black Clover character, and I mean, my track record for Fairy Tale characters isn't that great, so I'm gonna just try to rectify that here. But, um, just the fact that these two are just, like, you know, they drink. That's, that's, I mean, there's more deeper similarities I could go into, like, you know, both daughters of, you know, absurdly powerful, you know, magic users, and they were able to, you know, all this other stuff, but, no. So, um, let's just get into this then. So, Kana is the daughter of Guild Arts. Um, and her specialty is, uh, I just call it card magic. It's apparently called, like, the type of magic is holder magic, and it's referred to as magic cards. So, you know, I guess, I guess if you're taking part in the Friday Night Draft, you know. Um, so these basically, is, they're just using kind of like, um, uh, Cards similar to, like, Arcana, like, like, Teller cards, or, uh, Terror, Terra cards, that, um, you know, produce effects based on the what she uses, so, she's able to, she has cards that create lightning, fire, wind, explosions, ice, um, she has cards that can summon, like, streams of fountains from the ground, she has cards that can put people to sleep, she has, uh, you know, and, like, Fairy Tale, anytime somebody has a diverse power like that they end up with something stupid so she has cards that like detect specifically when Lucy is in danger she has you know things like that um cards that summon like women in bikinis and she you know like the uh and then her most like potent attack is uh fairy glitter which is one of the fairy tale houses like most powerful spells with that, she, um, it creates, she, like, does this chant, and then it creates a giant, like, halo, and, um, its power was able to beat, like, wizard saints and shit, and, you know, like, not beat them, but, like, outpower them, it was, like, in a contest, and, um, yeah, so, she, I don't know if she became an S-class wizard, she was considered one of the most powerful that wasn't yet an S-class wizard, but that's her, um, yeah, and then of course, you know, like I said, she's got the drunk personality that just doesn't care about what other than just, you know, yeah, that's neither here nor there, I'm not gonna, like, go into how I personally feel about the characters, so then, um, let's go over to Vanessa, so Vanessa is, uh, she's actually a witch, which in Black Clover is a distinction because there's wizards saying, or yeah, there's magic knights, wizards, witches, like the witches are like their own race of people. And, um, she's a witch and she's born to the witch queen, which, that's gonna get annoying, witch queen who is considered one of the most powerful magic users alive to the point where, like, you know, the kingdoms just kind of ignore them and say, like, don't, don't mess with them, don't mess with the witch queen. She, um, but her particular style of magic was thread magic, is thread magic, I should say. So with this, she's able to, she's able to, you know, control these magic inherent threads and, you know, do, you know, a bunch of crazy things with them. She can tie you up, she can, like, just keep them around the environment and, like, move people or including herself around. She's able to, um, you know, like, she's able to, like, slow down enemy attacks with them or, like, move herself out of the way. She's able to, um, oh, fuck, what was it? She can, uh, she can, like, adjust their size to the point where, like, they become invisible, so they're, like, undetectable. Um, 
basically, yeah, just puts a bunch of strings all over the place. But an, another ability that she later developed was... Not an ability, but it's just something, like, within her blood that came to its potential. And that's the red thread of fate, um, which manifests itself as a cat. So, with this thread, um, it literally allows her to change her destiny, or change destiny, um, change future events, so that no harm can come to any member of the Black Bulls, uh, or anyone in the vicinity of the Black Bulls, I guess. Um, so, like, attacks will just miss. Like, they'll just veer off in another direction when they were supposed to hit. They'll, um... Uh... You know, like, people will just... People who go to attack you will just trip. And, and things like that. You know, just, like, manipulation of fate and, like, you know, odds of probability and things like that. Just to... Fate protecting, you know, her, essentially. Though it doesn't protect her from... If I'm not mistaken, it doesn't protect her from anything that's not, like, immediately a threat. So when she was trapped in a dimension that, like, would slowly cause you to become drowsy, she, you know, she was affected by that. Because it's, you know, falling asleep isn't, isn't like, a threat in and of itself. So, how do I think this fight would go? These two... Okay, so... Vanessa would have... It's hard to really... Okay, I think Vanessa would have the inherent advantage, being able to, you know, manipulate her own movement and dodge attacks, plus the red thread would, you know, keep her pretty much safe from anything. Um... Kana has it as, at her disposal, you know, being able to, like, manipulate the future is pretty high scale in terms of magic, um, but like I said, that, you know, Kana does have spells that are, you know, status-based that aren't lethal, like being able to, being able to manipulate, uh, you know, like having a card that puts people to sleep, now, that has to make contact, but, um, you know, that is one way that Kana has that can, that could out that. And essentially I would give this to Kana just because I, I, I originally thought Vanessa, but when I went to do this fight, but I think I'm going to give it to Kana because of the, based off the reasoning that Kana doesn't, or Vanessa doesn't have any ways specifically to like kill Kana. Right? Like most of her attacks are non-lethal. She can like knock her out or something, but it would be really hard to kill her. Whereas Kana has, you know, spells that rival some of the most powerful magic users in the fairy tale universe. So being able to use that in all yeah, she'll have to like put Vanessa to sleep first. But and I don't know that that turns off the red thread now that I think about it, but just the fact that the one thing protecting Vanessa, uh, which is reliant on her mana, so like the longer she keeps it active, the less, you know, it can only stay active for a certain amount of time until she runs out of mana. But, like, the fact that she actually has a way around that um, even though it might not necessarily, like, prevent it, um, and the fact that, like I said, Vanessa just doesn't really have a way to win this fight, I don't think, so, if I had to choose somebody, I would say, I would say Kana would win, um, but, yeah, this is kind of a weird one, this is also a short episode, but, um, yeah, so I think, I think Kana's gonna end up winning this, and, uh, this is going to be my first entry for Black Clover, and, eh, I don't know, whatever. Lazy day. Anyway, Verbal Engine 95. See ya.